Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV where all geek culture collides. Today we're going to take another look at the 2016 Mattel Classics line Ghostbusters Peter Ranklin. As you may recall last year, uh, around September or August, John and I did a review of the entire team of Winston, Ray, Peter, and Egon simultaneously. It wasn't really the best quality vi video, so now I thought we'd revisit the team only with individual videos of each of the characters. So as you can see here, we have Peter Rankman who's in his jumpsuit. Uh, very, a pretty decent likeness to Bill Murray. Not bad. You got the green straps there. His receding hairline, of course. Not bad. The paint detail around the edges of the hairline could be a little bit better. But it's not really too bad. And just to show you how good they did on the detail, you got that small little no ghost symbol that looks identical. It's not just thrown on there or anything. Uh, it actually looks like the no ghost symbol. Uh, Peter is the only one in the line that does not have his pants tucked into his boots. And Bill Murray said that the reason he, he didn't tuck his pants into his boots during the filming of Ghostbusters 1 and 2 was because he felt that Peter, he, he was pretty much just there to get paid. He, he's kind of a slacker, you know. He just threw his suit on, didn't care about tucking his pants into, the, into his boots. He's just there to get paid and be on his way. So that's why Peter never tucked his pants into his boots. And we have this little cord here. I'm not really sure what the point of that is. It is in the uh, Ghostbusters movies. Um, I don't know if maybe... <laughs> in case they piss, pee themselves during a uh, ghost bust. Maybe the pee travels up in there and helps... Uh, oh no. It actually goes to the back of the belt. Maybe it's a breather. Maybe it's to allow air to travel into the suit. Um, so they don't get too hot. And here, I'm not quite sure what that is. It almost looks like the foot switch for the uh, trap, but I'm not seeing a trap. I'm not sure what that goes to. Let's go ahead and take his proton pack off. We have to be very careful with this. Even though it is a soft, flexible plastic, it is still capable of being, being broken. Pack off. Hopefully we can do this without breaking anything. Set that to the side. For right now um, his arms don't really bend too much that's the straightest that arm is gonna get and that's the straightest his left arm is gonna get uh, the arms are meant to be holding the uh, neutrino wands proton wands whatever you want to call them he's got his elbow pads there um, but let's go ahead and take a look at pos posability his head is on a slight ball joint, but can't really move too much because of the collar of his jumpsuit. So it can go up and down, side to side, uh, kind of tilt a little bit, not much. And then you got his arm, which 
ooh, 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 this is so tight. I, I don't really mess with my figures after I get them. I usually set them right up on my shelf. <clears throat> so, ooh, that's tight. That worries me. All right. His arms go up and down. They can rotate all the way around. That's about it. Uh, his elbows I already showed you there. They go down to about there, up to there, and on this one, go down to there. That's about how far you're gonna get his arms, just like that. It would've been nice if they would've packaged the Ghostbusters each individually with uh, other other accessories uh, because Peter he could have came with maybe uh, radio and that little uh, air pressure gauge that he uses in part one that would have been a nice touch uh, Ray could have came with his goggles and uh, Egon could have came with a PKE meter, but you know, it is what it is. Waist does spin, ooh, very tight. Very tight, just like that. Legs come out to there. The belt kind of hinders a little bit because of the hose there, but they can his legs go up to there. I can't really go back that far. Goes back to there. Then you got the thigh swivel. Got a knee joint. And you've got the ankle rocker. That is it for articulation. Go ahead and set him back here and now we'll take a look at the proton pack all right here's the proton pack it is very screen accurate to the movies <clears throat> you got the bar that come, comes across here the four lights in the game it's revealed that those lights are actually little um <clears throat> pistons that pop out once your uh, pack overheats and in order to get them back in you gotta stop blasting for a little bit and prime it or whatever <clears throat> but the neutrino wand is supposed to attach right here on this peg um, I'm having there we go there we go did attach a very good likeness of the neutrino one too um, kind of wish though they would have done put angled this red hose uh, or wire a little bit better so that this would sit on there more flush but you know it is what it is so to put it back on Peter we're gonna have to bring his arms back straighten them out a little bit oh yes and I forgot it does have wrist articulation spin turns all the way around and can rock back and forth. Do I hope I don't break anything? Hope I don't rip the straps or break his arms. There we go. Not too bad. <clears throat> 